I yeah. think a good project manager, a good somebody that can run the projects or operations is money well spent. It, it will. Yep. I think we look at that as a, a role that's not revenue generating, but it actually does generate revenue when you have somebody there that understands yeah. what they're doing. Uh, yep. You become more profitable. You become capable of doing more revenue. Yeah, that's 100%. You just nailed it right there. It doesn't add revenue. It adds capacity and capacity adds revenue. Mm, I love that. So guys moving into becoming a CEO, like yep. this, is a, this is a hard thing to talk about in the construction space because that's not, guys start businesses because they don't want to have a boss, but for some reason, we don't ever think about the fact that we have to be the boss. Mm -hmm. So walk, walk through some guys, the kind of the mindset shift that has to happen for guys as you you head into that. Because I'm not a believer. Yeah. A construction champion does not just have a hobby that's highly profitable. A construction yep. champion has a well-oiled machine that runs and goes out and wins championships. Like That's why yep. I'm a champion for the construction industry. I believe in this industry and everything it can be. Yeah, you're, yeah. You know, there's a mindset shift that has to happen. You have to be able to shift your focus away from operations to how do we do the work by hiring and delegating that to some kind of construction supervisor or president of construction, whatever the case may be, depending on your business and, and size and where you are in that life cycle. But you've got to get operations off your plate and give it to someone else who can run operations, someone capable, someone that you trust that will do a great job and maintain the level of quality that you need for your business. When you have that in place, it frees your brain up to not be worried about operations all the time. And now you can go be CEO and your, your focus now is entirely on building and supporting and coaching and training the team that is running the business. And probably 90% of your time is now focused on sales. You are bringing, you're the, you're the rainmaker. Go out and make it rain, bring in the business, bring in the work, build the relationships to fill the funnel so that your operations team can go out and kill it delivering all the services. I love that because a lot of times it's all about you have to find somebody that can to, you can trust to do this because I think that's one of the biggest pieces that guys look at and say, like, I'm going to go out and sell this project and then I have to be able to hand it off to the right person. And yeah. You have to not just find the right person, but you have to just go ahead and let go and trust that person. Yep. Do the right thing. Yeah, hundred percent. And it's a difficult shift to make for sure. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like it's easy. Most people got into construction because they were really good at some kind of skilled trade, not because they thought they'd make an awesome CEO. But <laughs> they were they were so good at, at what they did that their business grew. And, and now they've got this opportunity in front of them to really capitalize on the excellence that they've established and take what it was that made you awesome at your skill, your trade, and embed that in your team so that it continues to repeat under your brand without you being the one to do it. And now you get to go learn how to be something completely new that you've never had to be before, which is a CEO, and you're going to suck at it for a while. And that's okay, because we all do. But you've got to dive into it. You've got to embrace it. You've got to start learning. And you've got an opportunity to go build a multi-million dollar business now. Yeah, I, I guess I, to me, like that should just be the natural progression. But that's just not not what we see happen. I don't yeah. I'm trying to piece her out. Like why, why? The, the construction industry is very fragmented when it comes to this. Like there is a lot of people doing a lot of things that are not their businesses, but like, I think I love your term that it's a hobby that's profitable. Like you're out there yeah. doing things. We just have so much of that, but then we have great companies doing great things. And it's not because everybody can't, it's because a lot of people are not willing to to make that step into what you're talking about and i i just don't quite understand yeah. why we have that mindset in the industry because that needs to just yeah. change yeah i i completely agree ron 